I don't know about the rest of you, but this is beautiful. And uh, I am so far from home right now. <laughs> ah, I'm thinking about living here permanently. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. This is Shino. And if you missed the live stream, we start working on the ale house. There's a lot of stuff I still got to do here. Um, got to get some tiles for the roof, and I would like to use slate for that. But we are going to use plaster, and we did make the decision that we are going to use uh, aged wood uh, for the trim on this. So. We'll continue with the pine for the uprights, uh, but the entire top area we're going to replace with the aged wood, which I think looks really nice. And then inside, we're going to be putting some of the aged wood in here as well. Uh, here we got a bar area. Uh, we've got the ale already cooking and going, so we'll have that. Brought some cheese in. So, yep, yeah, that's what this is going to be. And then as we come out this door, we're going to put the distillation area out here. And then off the back here, we're going to put in our orchard. So this is where the orchard's going to go. This is where the distillation setup's going to go at. And this is going to be where we're going to put the ale and everything as we get done with it. All right. So we're going to keep working on this. But I'm going to need to make a lot of plaster. So I have been running over here and swapping out chalk stone like you would not believe and we're gonna keep this going and I'm gonna get some more uh, stuff together so I can make a lot of plaster on this but I decided I need to go on a little adventure because one of the things that I want to do is I still would like to find some bamboo so we're going to have to grab us some food and we're going to grab us very little else. We're not going to take a whole lot of stuff with us. I'm going to grab some gears to take with me in case I find something really good for sale. Uh, but I've got, let's see, one serving of that, one serving of that. We'll take, well, I'll take all three of them with us. Okay. And I'm going to leave one of these bowls behind. Don't need them all. All right. So we're going to head south. We are going to see if we can find us a jungle. And we are going to gather up all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to see what we can find. All right. So let me get to moving and I'll be back. And of course, as I'm going along the way here, I'm going to take advantage and find, you know, as I find these crops, I'm going to grab these. Because like I said, I brought just a minimal amount of food with me. And we need seeds. So I'm going to keep gathering up some stuff. And one of the things that I mentioned, and this might be a good idea, to, might, good, might be a good time to do this now. I talked about it. I'd like to get up and get some glacier ice. So I wonder if I can make a trek up there. Get some glacier ice. Whoa. Not if I fall in a hole. Holy smokes. All right. Let me keep looking around here and see. That doesn't look like a good way up. Hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, I've got a few sticks. I can make some more ladders. So. Another, another hole. All right. Let's see if we can find our way up here. Crops. Let's see. Start. Got my ladders on me. Okay. I don't like putting them just on these little small spots like that, but 
Whatever we got to do here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like we get across here. Let me keep meandering my way through here, and I'll come back. All right, we're making pretty good progress. But as I get up here at the top, I'm not sure we're going to find any glacier ice up here. I may have picked a mountain that doesn't have it. That would stink. Oof, don't fall. Yeah. Some over there. Alright, we can get some, and we are freezing. So let's get this done and get down as quick as we can. And if I have to do I can I ah, I can make a fire. I don't think it'll be necessary. Just get up here and get some of this. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Now we don't need a whole lot of this. We're just going to play around with it a little bit. So let's just get us a few pieces. That'll work. And let's get down into some warmer temperatures. Woo! It's chilly up here. See if I can do this without killing myself now. Oh. A crop? Nope, no crop. Okay. Wrong spot there. See if I can do it. Ah, uh, made it. Hit. That'll work. I guess a little bit lower. And oh, huh, huh, huh. Oh, cut across this way. Down. I think we're getting ourselves into a pinch here someplace. I know I didn't come this way. Ooh, that's a sheer cliff. That's a sheer cliff. Well, let's see. If I were to put... I think that get me straight down, won't it? See if we can grab this thing. Woo! We'll skip in here. That one. Where's my slow thing? Looks like that's as far as we can go, isn't it? Well, let's see. Get you? Nope. Oh, did it. Missed it. Thought I missed it. Oh. Woo! That's too far of a fall, but that's okay. We're back down on the ground. Alright, let me find me a spot to warm up. We'll need a little bit of wood. There's my ladders. Let's see. Looks like there's a tree back over there. Alright, let me get over there. Hopefully don't run into any wolves. And, uh... 
Give me a fire belt, warm myself up. Let's see, any logs on this? Yep, okay. Oh, and I don't have an axe on me. See, in my haste, I forgot the axes. Grab some of this. It's around here. Okay, well, so now I gotta find a way to cut down some wood, too. This may not end up well for us. But we shall see. All right, I'll be back. I just want to show something. If you are out, now it's warm enough out here now, but I did find a trader, and I found a couple pieces of flint. So when you want to make a fire pit, you don't have to use the logs to get it going. You just have to use the logs to get it formed, and then you can use whatever it is you want to, to heat it up. So... Uh, I just needed to heat up just a little bit, so I was able to get that done, but it's actually warmer here than as I was running south. So, and this guy's got a bed, so we're going to crash here for the night, and then we'll take off again in the morning. And, oh, by the way, look at what this guy has. He has the Forlorn Hope breast piece, and I only have 17 gears, so I can't buy that, but God damn it. I wish I would have uh, brought some stuff to sell. I don't think I could have sold this guy, but I know I could sell some stuff along the way. So, oh well. All right, just about time for sunrise. We'll take off again. Not finding a whole lot of really good um, ruins to uncover, but that's you know that's okay. Uh, this terrain is really kind of jaggedy but it looks like i want to kind of keep going maybe off this direction so i'm gonna keep running see what i can find so far anyways i mean i've traveled a pretty good distance from uh, where our base is at but you know i know we're gonna have to there's a good chance we may have to go 10 to twelve thousand blocks to find what I'm looking for and uh, I know from I've already been down almost uh, 8,000 blocks or 9,000 blocks uh, after going through the teleporter and heading off in uh, the other direction over there and I need to go back more this way so this may be a long trip but you know stuff that we need to find we're going to keep looking I'll be back Right, looks like we're coming up on a little bit of a ruined village here. Oh. We got a forage vessel. We don't really have anything there we want. I know I did not bring a shovel, but I think we can just dig without a shovel. Oh, and that's a room. Oh, maybe that's a cave. Hard to tell. I see a vessel down there, though. this stuff up. Two vessels. Oh, and that's one that we can pick up. So let's see. What can we get rid of? I don't need the sand. Really don't need the poultice. But what we're going to have to do is throw them over here. So let's grab the poultice, throw it, Let's grab the low fertility soil for it. We got that. Cool. All right. Now I got to get out of here. Uh, ladder. There we go. There's one. That one doesn't look like it's going to be much. Usually not. Oh, I heard something. What was that? No, just a baby. Let's see. Forage. 
Nothing really good there. Grab some more crops and we'll go check out this other one. That's ore. Brown coal. I'm not going to worry about brown coal. Not going to worry about brown coal. Oh, I think this is one of those great big ones. Just doesn't have anything underneath it. All right, I'm not going to mess with that one. Okay. Let's uh, do some more exploring. All right, here's another trader. Let's see what he has. He's got a garden in his front yard. Take that. He's got a big opening into the abyss below. Uh, let's see, let's finish that off. There we go. Oh, he looks like a survival trader. Treasure hunter. These guys really have something good. Is he going to trade with me? There he goes. Let's see. Oh, he'll he'll buy the leather backpacks too. I don't have any with me. I already sold them all. Ah. Five gears. That's a good price though. He's only going to take one. Oh, and he does have the black guard helm. Ooh. 20 gears. I don't have enough. Hmm. Well, all right. I'll have to remember this guy, though. All right. <clears throat> so I've been traveling for a couple more days. I have finally found one of the items I was looking for, and that was the green, uh, the green spire cypress. Uh, and looks like I've got two seeds now, so that's good. I uh, also found amaranth, which is something else I've been looking for to take back, and some more sunflowers. So, all in all, I'm finally getting down into an area that is providing me with some of the stuff that I have been needing. So, I'm going to keep exploring. I have gone, I'm now 14, almost 15,000 blocks to the south. Uh, on the map, so yeah, uh, this has been a long trip. Uh, let's really finish doing some more exploring. I still have a, a large list of stuff that I need to find, uh, so I'm gonna keep this exploration going and uh, see uh, see how long it's gonna take me. All right, I'll be back. All right, if you've not run into one of these ruins before, these are probably one of my favorites. Um, you will find a forge in here. You'll find uh, usually path blocks. Um, you'll find a couple of uh, uh, storage chests. It looks like I've got some gears down there on the ground. I'm going to have to start sacrificing some stuff. <coughs> Things that just aren't that important. But man, we're finding a bunch of good stuff. So if I can get... I want those gears... For sure. So, gotta throw us a little farther out. There we go. Maybe that one. There we go. Got the gears. Uh, so, you'll find the gears. And then, usually, I think it's back here along the back. Might be downside. This is where you'll find um, the good treasure room. So, we're gonna dig down here and see what we can find. Yeah. There we go. So you're usually going to find a bed in one of these. Yeah. It uh, looks like that was just... Yeah, not really anything good as far as those go. But we do have a another pot. So we're going to take that with us. And... What to give up. What to give up. Well, the dirt we can give up. And I'd like to have the bed, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So, all right. So, yeah, these are good ones. Uh, this is actually a nice little area here that I just found. Uh, I had four 
uh, ruins right here together. An another one of those little villages. Um, there might be some more stuff here, but uh, eggs are getting so full. And I've stopped really picking up the crops. So, alright, I'm going to go grab some more sunflower seeds. I'm going to try to get my inventory squared away, and then I'm back on the hunt. And uh, what we're trying to do is I'm trying to get as far south as I possibly can. I want to find on my list, I need papyrus, I need bamboo, and I need um, acacia trees. So that's what I'm on the hunt for. So I'll be back. know about the rest of you but this is beautiful and uh, I am so far from home right now <laughs> ah I'm thinking about living here permanently <laughs> look at this so I did find let's see here we go back um, I did find something else I was looking for. Now, I didn't mention this just uh, a while back. I think I kind of gave a list of things I was looking for. And uh, I didn't list this, but K-Poc. k, -Poc. k another thing that I've been looking for. And there is K-Poc here. Uh, there's also... Uh, let's see. There's my shears. They are. Um, and uh, we're going to try to find some reeds, too. So... Uh, yeah, this is gonna, I'm gonna try to find me some k -Poc seeds, uh, add that, like there's one right there. Uh, so I'm gonna keep, uh, gathering up, because I want to get quite a few of these, and then, uh, I'll move on. Alright, be back. Yep, yeah, I'm back into having a full inventory again, and I didn't have this on my list of things to get, but I... I it's golden poppies. I gotta find a spot to put it. Um, oh, I hate this. I hate this. I mean, it's not what I came here for, but uh, I gotta do it. So we'll get rid of some sticks. Yeah, we can get lots more sticks, but yeah, golden poppies. Uh, I want to definitely plant these around some of my buildings back in the village. So let's get them while we're here. And. Uh, uh, I've already passed up on a couple other flowers as I was out here gathering stuff up. I've just run out of space. So uh, I'm heading back over this direction. I see some more amaranth, so I'm going to go over here and grab this as well. Um, and uh, see if uh, I can find some more K-Poc as I go. So I'll be back. I have traveled nearly 25,000 blocks, but I'm finally finding what I'm looking for. So, found some soybeans. There's more k -Poc here. I've got some uh, papyrus. So, I am starting to find the things I'm looking for. Now, I have uh, killed and uh, cut down, I don't know how many k -Poc, and I have two seats. Two! <coughs> so, I... I'm going to keep going because I, I think I'm going to need probably, I'd like to get about eight maybe. I think it would be good. Um, so I'm going to keep right on going here. But, uh, hey, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Uh, this has been two days of traveling and running and uh, everything else. And that's, that's just about it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on doing this uh, between episodes. And uh, next Saturday, when we come back, I'll be back at the base and hopefully have everything that I need. So, folks, thanks for spending this time with me. This is Shino, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.